Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well, and today, whew, I've already made a lot of videos, and if you've not seen them on this channel, check out my newest channel, the OMB Report, where I talk about news, politics, pop culture, things like that, because I want this channel to be exclusive to movie-related content, movie television, pop culture stuff as well. And so I wanted to today make a video because it is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to all of my American brethren and American sisters out there as well. And also, I would even say to my kitty and brethren, even though you've already had your Thanksgiving, I would say Thanksgiving to you as well. But we also have a lot of Blu-ray 4K sales going on right now. They've been going on for the last couple of weeks as we've had basically Black Friday month, but technically it is officially the day before Black Friday, and so even more sales have since gone out, and so I figured I'd cover some of the biggest deals going on right now, and also to give y'all a little bit of an insight if you have not uh, seen videos about this before on my channel or have heard of this website before, it could be beneficial to any of my collectors out there. And that website is Blu-ray.com, the website that I'm on right now. I highly recommend it because it's a great way of tracking the best deals going on right now. Uh, you can either track them through things like Amazon or Best Buy or other places like that. It's a really good resource. And also, you can go to best deals, newest deals, lowest prices, which there's tons of things on sale right now for about four bucks. John Wick, Terminator 2, John Wick 2, tons of things. The one I would recommend more than anything, though, is Sicario, one of the best films, I think, in the last 10 years. $4 on Blu-ray right now a very good deal. And let's go ahead, though, and go into the best deals going on right now because there are a ton of 4K movies that are currently available. And so we have here Harry Potter, the eight film collection on 4K available for $73. Now you might think, hey, that's a lot of money. Yes, but it's eight movies for $73, which means you're getting them for less than $10 a film. And if anyone follows 4Ks, you know that getting a 4K for around seven or $8 is pretty much the lowest that it could possibly get, especially for newer releases of which this eight 8K, or rather, this 8, almost we're almost, almost at the age of 8K. This 4K uh, set is relatively new, so that's actually a pretty good deal if you are a fan of Harry Potter. If you don't want to spend as much money, but you still love Harry Potter, you can get the same eight film collection on just standard Blu-ray, as you can see right next to that, for $25. And so you do the math on that: eight films, $25. That is very little per movie. And if you're a big fan and you don't have them all, great set to get. I actually have that set, as my wife is a huge fan of the franchise, and I can say. It is a very well put together set and good quality because of the Blu-ray. You have 2001 A Space Odyssey, one of the greatest films of all time on 4K. $15 is a pretty good deal for that. I would say if you are not rushing out to get the film, you probably will see that 4K available for like $10 in the future, if I had to guess, because you'll see a lot of films as we go further along that are you know somewhat newer releases as far as officially for the first time on 4K. Obviously, that film is a lot older than that. But those films tend to go down to around $10 or so at some point in the future. It is interesting, though, how older films on 4K have intrinsically more value. And it makes sense because typically the image quality is just going to be that much better because of the fact they use actual film and transferring film into digital. Uh, you just get a much uh, crisper image, a much cleaner image, and it just looks better in the end. Uh, a couple other things you have going on. You have Close Encounters for $35. I imagine that is some type of collector's set. Uh, Stand By Me is the film... Actually, I bought last night because as we're, I was as we're recording the podcast for my subscribe star Patreon and YouTube members with John the Flick McFlickinger, uh, I had mentioned that I had never seen Span By Me, which is one of his all-time favorite movies, and so he pressured me. I bought it live on that podcast. Turns out... I bought it for $7 too much because literally today, four hours ago, as you can see, it went on sale. And so I've since bought a second copy, and I'll be doing a giveaway on the channel in the future of the 4K Stand By Me, uh, which I finally now own once it comes in. Inception, $15 on 4K. Again, pretty good deal. Blade Runner 2049. Uh, I love that film. Uh, I, I love the original film. I love uh, the sequel. Again, I'm a huge Denis Villeneuve film, uh, Denis Villeneuve film fan. And so I think that that is a wonderful film. It's a wonderful thing to pick up. I was able to pick that one up on 4K Steelbook uh, when that was first released. And the Steelbook is freaking gorgeous. Great picture quality. And again, the I think the atmosphere of the film really does fit well within the 4K HDR universe, uh, which is very... Again, common among newer films, but I would say it's not as common as you would think, especially when you compare it to older films. Dunkirk, $15. 
I love Nolan, but Dunkirk was not one of my favorite films of his. A lot of people know my thoughts on that. You can get one of the lowest grossing films, one of the biggest box office bombs of the year on 4K if you are a Robert Downey Jr. fan, and that would be Doolittle for for, uh, for $10. Poltergeist, classic horror film for $5. Uh, Chernobyl, the series, I've heard great things about $13 for that. Superman the movie, which I'm personally not a big fan because of the ending. Uh, you can get that one for $15 on 4K. You can get all of season one of Westworld, which was a really good season uh, kind of has gone downhill since then but still $13 for an entire season of a show is usually actually a, a pretty good deal uh, this is one that I picked up actually the other day you can get 10 movies you can get the 10 movie Stardate collection for Star Trek for $32 it's about half off again 10 movies for 30 bucks you do the math on that pretty good deal overall All right, I'm gonna skip some that I don't have nearly as much to say about Karate Kid though $13 for the 4k of that classic film Gremlins $10 on 4k pretty good deal original Jumanji $13 on 4K. Requiem for a Dream, I've heard great things about. have actually never seen it myself. $8 on 4K. That is one of the ones that I might actually go ahead and try and pick up. But as you can see, tons of films on Blu-ray, on 4K that are indeed on sale. Wonder Woman, uh, the uh, the one that came out a couple years ago, on sale already for $10 on its 4K release. Song of the Sea, I saw this one and I knew I wanted to talk about it. It's a really beautiful animation uh, and I would say it's well worth the $10. Even though it's just the Blu-ray, not the 4K, I think that it is definitely well worth it. You can also also get the Back to the Future, the Complete Adventures for $21 on Blu-ray as well. Pretty good deal. Five Film Rambo Collection for $13. Justice League, $15. You all know my thoughts on Justice League. Uh, the film called Anna, which came out not too long ago, uh, was $8 on 4K. One that's actually a pretty cool deal for me is Total Recall. This is actually a film that has not yet been released on 4K. It's going to be released, I think, December 8th, and it is already on sale for 35% off. So $15 for the new 4K release of Total Recall, classic Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, might be worth looking into. I'm starting to see all the super natural seasons are on sale on blu-ray for around ten dollars so uh, if you're waiting out for the complete set of that series since it just wrapped up obviously you might want to hold off but if you want to get them while they're cheap ten dollars for an entire series uh, for an entire season of a show is also a pretty good deal i saw this one last night as well pretty great deal as well the planet of the apes the uh, the caesar trilogy uh this one is rise of the planet of the apes dawn of the planet of the apes and war for the planet of the apes 25 dollars for all three of those on 4k that's also a very good deal. I might actually pick that one up as well. I, I own all the films, um, but to get the sets all the, on 4K would mean I could take the uh, the leftovers that I have and put those out on future giveaways as well. So as you can see, tons of films on sale. If you want to find your own, obviously, you can go to this website, search through it, search for movies that you want to see. Also, again, you can break it down to just Blu-ray films. You can do just 4K films. This will go ahead and just break down all of the different 4Ks that are available. Again, you can also do it by lowest prices and so as I said the lowest price on a 4k typically that you will find is around eight dollars or so so you can get the Star Trek movies the newer films <laughs> I know everyone watching the channel at least my subscribers uh, are huge fans of the JJ Abrams ones but hey they're there if you want to buy them on 4k for eight dollars uh, you also have Bumblebee which I wasn't a big fan of Overlord which I have some interest in uh, Brawl and Cell Block 99 I heard was pretty great uh, with Vince Vaughn uh, also the one film from Marvel that I might actually pick up this year is Incredible Hulk on 4k it's actually one of my favorite of the mcu films it's one of the first films uh, it's one of the only films really before disney officially took over uh there really aren't too many of those films still left out there and so to have it untainted by disney is still a pretty great thing so eight dollars for that 4k is pretty good i mentioned the other day i had a set that was sent to me by lionsgate of all of the rambo films on 4k steelbook which is a beautiful set you can still get that at best buy for about 80 bucks or 80 or 90 dollars right now however if you don't want to shell out that kind of money you can get every single rambo film including the most recent one for about eight dollars on 4k which again is very good for 4k titles so again if you are a physical media collector and you all know i'm a huge fan and huge proponents of physical media i would highly then recommend that you go out and try and get some of these deals while they're out here especially these 4k titles because you can get them and once you have them no one can touch them no studio can come in and change it no amazon can come in and say well actually we own it and so therefore even though you paid money for it you can't keep it nonsense 
this is the way to go. And these are the times of year where you can really bulk up on your collection if you have that extra cash to spend, of course. And again, if you want to start collecting some 4Ks or upgrading to 4Ks, this would be a good time to do it. $8, as I said, is probably one of the lowest prices for at least a 4K title that you will get. Where with Blu-rays, the, the cheapest you'll usually see is around 3 or $4 on Amazon. Though, of course, sometimes there's different deals where you can mix and match. I know Target right now has a buy two, get one free. And so that could uh, end up leading to the movies not costing nearly as much. Uh, you got some bigger films like Joker on 4K for $9. Great film. One of the best films of the last couple of years. Ex Machina, a fantastic film. Unfortunately, the director hasn't made anything good since then. But that film is still good. Top Gun on 4K for $10. The John Wick films also on 4K for around $10. And again, go ahead and look over these yourself. Those are pretty much the only ones that I'm seeing that I, I, I want to say anything about, though I'm sure that some of y'all might see things saying, ooh, I want to get that film. All of these, again, available right now for 4K, all pretty darn cheap. And again, you can go buy Blu-ray, you can go buy all, you can go buy 3D Blu-ray if you really want to. I don't recommend it. Um, and you can go, of course, best uh, best deals, newest deals. This is a good way of keeping up on things. So, oh, Joker on Blu-ray is only $6 right now. And that is something that happened 20 minutes ago. So it keeps you updated with when these deals went live. And also it gives you an indication of how long the deal might last. If it's been out for a little bit longer, might not be lasting much longer than that. But obviously we'll have a lot of deals today. We'll have a lot of deals tomorrow. I don't know if I'll make a follow-up to this, but I would recommend and if you do want to keep up uh, to you know up to date on all of these different deals, go to Blu-ray.com. Again, it's a site I use every single day. There's also an app for Android and for Apple iOS. It is so good. I, I literally check it every day because, as you know, I, I am a physical media buff. Buy physical media, everybody. Um, obviously, this is a time when we are struggling. This is a time when we may not have as much extra cash as we as we typically do. But movies are a great way for us to be able to escape. And since we have so many, not just great films, but just great classics that can really help us escape because they still believed in escapism at that time instead of trying to push down identity politics and every single thing they do. Uh, this would be a good time to say, hey, maybe I can spend at least $8 on a film that I can own forever, watch as many times as I want, and also be able to enjoy something uh, that is good. So anyway, let me know your thoughts about this and any of the deals I mentioned in the comment section below. If you like this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe. Again, that is the way the channel does continue to grow. And again, for all those that have been with me for the last two years, thank you so very much. It's been awesome. And please check out the OMB report if you want more videos covering different news, politics, topics, and stuff like that. As you all know, movie news is kind of drying up in the midst of theaters closing and everything. And so I'm kind of shifting my focus. I'm still focused on this channel. Live streams are still going to be on this channel, but I am starting to provide actually more consistent content at least for now obviously with baby thor who i'm watching right now he is still asleep um that could easily change the number of videos i can put out even there but i do have several videos out on that channel so go check that out it would really help out a lot you guys are all amazing and beautiful people have a wonderful day and as always God bless. And now for a huge shout out to all of my November Patreon and Subscribestar members, Albertus Magnus, Animation Commentator, Brian P., David Bobrizic, Dion, Divex, Enrique Evangelista, Father Christopher Miller, Hail Father, Father Damien Cook, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Wiener Dog Clan, Harold Francis, The Hunky Chunky Funky Monkey, Inflamed Wood, It's a Trap Productions, Jason Clark, Jacob Juice, Jay. Jeffrey Toon, Jonathan Carney, Kenneth Cameo, Laura Story times two, Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin, On to June, Orange Hat Reviews, Out of Step with Reality, Outpost Dyer, Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, or Miss Martin Muses, Theodore Benden, Tina Bojan, and Tina B, the Empress of the Universe. Thank you all for being my Patreon members, and a shout out, of course, to my subscribe star members Stan For, John B, Perpetual Punster, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, Darkstar57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US888209 Fast, Dean Heiss, J. Rod, the Beer Guru, Nabadon G. Adams, and ZK Man, and Andrew Hoyle. And thank you to my subscribe star and Patreon members for supporting me for this month. I hope that you are enjoying your perks of getting access to things like a podcast, to giveaways, and also, of course, to other exclusive content. I know I've fallen a little bit behind with the birth of Baby Thor, and so I thank you very much for your patience and, of course, for your continued support. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless.